Imagine this, a 50-year-old spacecraft drifting billions of miles from Earth suddenly detects something moving through the darkness, something we've never seen before. It's not a planet, not a comet, not even a star. So what in the universe is it? The cosmos is like an endless black ocean dotted with luminous islands we call galaxies. And here on a tiny rocky world tucked inside the Milky Way, a curious species gazed upward and asked the oldest question of all, what's out there? For thousands of years, we've mapped the stars, told stories about the sky, and dreamed of venturing beyond our reach. Eventually, we built ships, not of wood and sail, but of metal, circuits, and antennas, ready to sail the sea of space. Among these ships were two of humanity's most daring explorers, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Their mission? To tour the giant planets and then keep going into the uncharted. In 1977, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 left Earth, using the gravity of planets like a cosmic slingshot to propel them outward. These weren't just flying cameras, they were floating laboratories, brimming with sensors to decode the secrets of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. What they sent back changed everything. Erupting volcanoes on Io, the intricate beauty of Saturn's rings, the strange sideways tilt of Uranus. But their planetary mission was only the beginning. Both voyagers carried a gift, a golden record etched with Earth sounds, music, and images, a time capsule for any civilization that might find it. It was humanity's way of saying, this is who we are, we exist. We hope you're doing well. Decades passed, and the voyagers pushed beyond the solar system's edge, past the heliopause into interstellar space. Voyager 1 now drifts more than 16 billion miles away. It's faint signals taking over 22 hours to reach us. Every day it runs is a small miracle. Then in the cold emptiness between the stars, Voyager 1 detected something, a faint repeating disturbance in the plasma and magnetic fields. At first, scientists thought it was a malfunction, but multiple instruments confirmed it. Something massive was moving out there, stirring the interstellar medium like a hidden current in still water. It wasn't a planet. It wasn't a comet. It wasn't on any predictable orbit. This object was traveling on its own path with a movement so steady it hinted at control. Scientists went through every possibility. Rogue planet? No. Asteroid? No dense gas cloud? No, the data didn't match anything familiar, which left one possibility. This was something entirely new. Could it be a strange class of cosmic object we've never seen before? Or, as some dare to wonder, could it be artificial? A probe? A vessel? Ancient technology drifting across the galaxy? If such an object truly exists, it shatters one of our most long-held assumptions that the space between stars is a vast, silent emptiness. For decades, scientists have pictured interstellar space as a cold, dark expanse, sprinkled sparsely with drifting dust, scattered particles, and the occasional rogue wanderer. But if Voyager 1 has indeed detected something massive supper, structured and moving with deliberate steadiness, it suggests that this cosmic void is not empty at all. Instead, it might be a realm bustling with activity, a galactic highway for travelers we've never seen before. The implications of that are nothing short of staggering. First, it challenges the way we think about the galaxy's structure. Our maps of the universe, those beautiful star charts and models, are built on the assumption that most of the space between stars is relatively inert. Sure, there are gas clouds, radiation belts, and the occasional rogue planet, but the presence of a large, stable, moving object where no stars are nearby suggests that the interstellar medium is far more dynamic than we realized. It might be threaded with unseen masses, whether natural or artificial, that interact with the galaxy in ways we haven't yet understood. From a purely scientific standpoint, this opens a floodgate of questions. Could there be an entire category of interstellar objects that have simply escaped our notice? because they don't reflect enough light to be seen. Objects that until now have been invisible to telescopes, yet leave subtle fingerprints in magnetic fields and plasma waves? If so, Voyager 1's detection might be our first real clue, a hint that the dark between the stars is far from lifeless. Then there's the even more provocative angle. What if it isn't natural? If the object's movement is too stable and precise to be explained by random cosmic drift, we might have to consider the possibility of deliberate motion. In other words, propulsion. If that's true, it means one of two things. Either we've stumbled upon alien technology actively navigating through space, or we're witnessing the remnants of such technology, perhaps drifting on a course set long ago. Even if it's just a probe like our own voyagers, but far more from a technological perspective, such a find could also rewrite our understanding of engineering limits. If the object is natural, perhaps it's shaped by exotic physics we don't yet comprehend, interacting with dark matter, using galactic magnetic fields to travel, or maintaining a path that defies what we think gravity alone should allow. 
If it's artificial, then someone or something has already mastered long duration interstellar travel, solving problems of energy, propulsion, and endurance that we still struggle with. Either way, the discovery would become a Rosetta Stone for understanding new methods of cosmic navigation. And then there's the philosophical dimension. Humanity often thinks of itself as just beginning its journey into the stars, baby steps with space stations, robotic probes, and tentative planetary landings. But if interstellar space is already alive with motion, then we are joining a conversation that's been going on far longer than we've been listening. That realization changes our perspective on exploration itself. The void is not a blank slate waiting for us. It's a living arena, and we are late arrivals. This is why the discovery matters so deeply. It's not just about the data Voyager 1 picked up. It's about what that data implies. A universe that is more complex, more connected, and more full of possibility than we dared imagine. If this object exists, it could be the first in a chain of discoveries that forces us to rewrite textbooks, rebuild theories, and reshape our understanding of what it means to explore. And perhaps most humbling of all, it reminds us of how much we don't know. Even with our most advanced instruments, even after half a century of space exploration, a tiny probe billions of miles away can still send back a mystery that defies explanation. It's a signal that the universe will always keep some secrets just out of reach, daring us to come and find them. This isn't just a scientific anomaly, it's a call to action. To build better instruments, launch more daring missions, and keep listening to the whispers from the dark. Because if there are travelers out there, whether they're ancient wanderers, alien probes, or natural nomads, then our story as explorers has only just begun. This discovery is more than a strange blip in Voyager's data. It's a reminder of why we explore. We don't launch probes because we know exactly what we'll find. We do it because we don't. Whether this object is a new natural phenomenon or something else, it proves one thing. The universe still holds mysteries big enough to shake our understanding. So we keep listening. We keep searching. And somewhere out there, beyond the reach of our sun, Voyager 1 continues its endless journey, carrying a golden record and humanity's unyielding curiosity. One day, maybe we'll find out what's moving in the dark. Until then, the greatest adventure is knowing that something is out there, waiting to be discovered.